Hello Mark, hello Transport Evolved. It's Thursday already and it's time for my thought of the day. I'm so glad you like the idea of a four corner trip, Mark. Um, somebody did some calculations and, and said it would be about 1250 miles, so we should totally do it in a Model S. Um, and I think we should totally go all Jean-Luc Picard on it and make it so. I can't believe I just made a Star Trek reference. That is so sad. You accused me of oversimplifying, Mark. Never! I am the most complicated, convoluted person on the planet. We were talking about want versus need in relation to speed versus price. And I think you're right. People have a perception that they need something that's bigger, has better range than they actually do. But that's no different to any other product. I mean, think about TVs. When we were growing up, TVs in the UK were like tiny. Um, I remember have a 40, having a 14 inch TV and thinking that was massive. Now I have a 30 something inch TV hanging on my wall. We've got used to the idea that more is better. Is it? You're quite right that in our current society, we're used to not paying the true value of things. And when, as you say, the price of petrol goes up, people will be much happier driving around in a car that costs very little and can only do 80 miles per charge than they would be driving around in a petrol car that can do huge numbers of miles per fill up, but costs an arm and a leg to fill up. And interestingly, this week I had a conversation with a friend who might be getting a new job and this job would require him to commute every day for two hours. And he said, oh, that translates to filling up the car twice um, every other day because his car can only do 150 miles um, in pe of petrol because it's a really small car. And I said, oh, it's a bit like having an EV. Um, and he was he was averse to the idea of filling it up every day, but I think he probably wouldn't be of plugging it in every day. Interesting. I really like what you said about price and range, Mark. I like the idea that you should only increase the battery capacity and therefore the range when that battery capacity costs the same as it originally uh, as 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 the lower spec model did originally. I think that's a brilliant idea. You also have to note though that economies of scale come into play. The more EVs you have, the more EVs you're making the cheaper it is to make more EVs because you're producing more of them in larger quantities and therefore economies of scale come in. The idea of having a multiple battery pack option is, is a great one. Your main battery pack, but then additional bits that you can call at your dealer and get fitted for long distance trips that you just borrow for those long distance trips. A bit like this laptop. See, this laptop's great because it came with a main battery and then a spare battery. Um, you could use one of the bays as a CD-ROM drive bay, but if you wanted, you could put two battery packs in. And this, 10 years ago, gave this laptop 12 hours of usable battery life if you were just doing word processing. Insane. Why not have that for cars? You asked me if EVs will bring back the family road trip. And it made me wonder what I think of when I think of the word road trip. I think here in the UK we have a very different idea of road trip to the US. When I think of road trips I think of sightseeing, I think of family bonding and I think of family time and I think as long as there are enough charging stations for driving long distance in an EV to not be stressful I think more people will do it as more cars come on the market and more people buy them. In fact Elon Musk he did his road trip didn't he? I'd love to have been in that car and I wonder what he did with his kids. But what do I want to talk to you about today, Mark? I want to talk to you about humour and EVs. I listened to a really, really funny skit online earlier on today from an Indian radio station in which a gentleman was called by his neighbour asking him to pay his electricity bill. At first, the guy being called thought that his neighbour worked for the electricity company, but it soon transpired that his neighbour lived on the first or second floor and had an electric car. And the only way that he could charge his electric car was to plug into his neighbor's electricity supply overnight and sneak some power. And this guy was really cross at his neighbor for not paying the electricity bill because he plugged in to charge. And because the guy had been cut off, he couldn't charge his car and then he had to catch the train to work. And it makes me wonder, should we be laughing about EVs? Should we be joking about EVs? I know you're a stand up comedian and I've got the impression in the past you're kind of reluctant to make jokes about EVs for fear of offending people. Should we make jokes about EVs? Should we stand up and joke about things like rapid charging stations not working? Should we joke about, you know, you're an EV owner when? Or should we just remain stiff upper lipped about it and not crack any jokes at all? Be interested to see what you think. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, Mark. Bye, Transport Evolved.